Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I want to go through another drawing lesson. This is kind of on the fly. Uh, I want to talk about doing extrusions and extrude cutting and using surfaces as boundaries for that. So I'm going to draw up a, a basic shape here to kind of get started. So we have uh, this shape here. Let's throw some some chamfers in here. Uh, let's make this a little bigger. All right. Um, okay. Actually, let me undo that. Let's go back. And so we're going to do one of those. We're going to do a spline. So now we can get rid of, oops, hold on. All right, so we did a spline curve through there. I'm gonna add these chamfers back in. Okay, let's throw a fillet back here. Uh, let's throw some fillets up front. All right, this excess geometry, let's just delete it. Okay, so from here, let's do an offset. All right, sketch a line. Let's trim this up. Let's add some fillets over here. Okay, so that looks good. All right, let's do let's do a shape. Let's do one of these things here. Let's rotate this 90. And we'll say minus 90. All right, this is going to be. Point five, point six, point six five. Uh, y is going to be point two five. X is going to be two one uh, one point five one point two five. Uh, let's make this point seven five. All right, that looks pretty good from there. Okay, let's go to another layer. Change our color. Let's go to a front view. Let's view our front. Okay, so from here, um, what do I want to do? I want to curve the, want to curve the top of it. So I'm just gonna sketch out a spline. Eh, maybe not. Let's just do a horizontal line and then we'll do point coordinates minus four. All right, and then four. Okay, and then we'll do spline. And we'll go from here to here to here. Okay, so that gives me kind of a curved shape. Let's translate that. Bring that. All right, that looks good. Okay, so we got that curved. Now I'm going to do a cut with it. So what I'm going to do is sketch another horizontal line. And then one of these like that, and one of those like that, and then we'll trim this up. So here, that's not what I wanted. String, so we'll go from here to here to here to here to here. All right, so now we have that one there, and 
Yeah, that should be okay. All right, we'll go back to the top view. I'm going to go ahead and create another layer here, and we'll go to a different color. So the first thing I want to do is extrude this shape up. So again, we want to make sure that it intersects with that profile there, and it does, so we'll say OK. All right, so then now we want to do an extrude cut for this one here, and we'll just make sure that it extends out on both sides, which now it does. So that gives us our, our shape. Okay, so now I want to turn that layer off and I want to go to this layer. So what I want to do, it's kind of like in wire where you have a land and then a taper. That's what I want to do on this shape here. So I'm going to do an extrude cut on this shape here. And I'm going to go up a certain amount. Let's go a little higher. And we'll go a little bit higher. Okay, so we're going to go up one inch. So we just cut away the model to that level. So now what I want to do is to go from this level up, but I want to add a taper to it. So I'm going to pick that surface. Uh, so I hit S on my keyboard. This turns the shading on and off, and then I hit W to get the UV lines, or what we call wireframe display. There's no wireframe. It's just the UV lines. So I'll grab that surface. So now if I go up, I'm going to go up further, but now I want to add an angle. So when you do an angle, it either goes in or out. If it's going the wrong way, you just put a minus sign in front of it. So now I want to taper this out. Let's go 15, and let's go 20. All right. So now that gives me what I'm looking for. So I have this land that goes to a certain level, and then I have that taper up on that top shape. Okay, so now from here, I want to do the same thing with this other shape. So I'm going to go and do my extrude cut. Let me get rid of my, uh, let me get rid of my taper. This is going to go up to a certain level. Uh, let's go a little bit higher. All right, so that looks good. And then now, again, we're going to pick this surface edge. So then we're going to go up from there, and then now we're going to add that taper so we can get this cone shape up on the top. So that gives me what I'm looking for for this particular, uh, particular shape. So the takeaway is you can create your wireframe and extrude your models, but then the other thing you can do is you can use surfaces as input geometry as you do additional cuts or extrusions, which I find to be very helpful. Now keep in mind you have your history tree over here, so you can see I did a lot of extrude cuts. I can go back and adjust if I want to adjust from there, but really the takeaway is being able to work with surface edges and adjust from that. So now that I've done that, let's go to, let's see this one, right? So that's my input geometry. Now if I come in here and I edit my parameters, this one I said to go to one inch, I could make that 0.75 now, okay? And now you can see how by dropping that level down, now that taper is affected, okay? So it also, it looks like it blew out this one over here as well. So as you make changes to your model, uh, and your settings, it can affect other features, but you can see how I extruded to an ele a level and then I use that surface to go to the next level, so if I adjust the original extrusion, it affects the second extrusion. That's kind of the history of it and uh, the order that it goes, this vertical order here uh, as you go down. But anyways, that's the takeaway for, for now. In the next video, I'm going to go ahead and lay some toolpath down on this, so we'll take a look at that uh, in the next video. If you guys have any questions, comments, feedback, uh, just let me know. Uh, the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.